Bonjour guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the FE exam format and how the screen of your exam is going to look like. Now, one of my students recently took his exam and he told me that he got a lot of questions where he, it was filling in the blank. So he didn't really have multiple choice. So I wanted to share that with you guys so that you are ready for your tests. Now, for more videos covering engineering problems or FE exam questions, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you get notified when I release new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Also, make sure you watch until the end because I'm going to share with you some practice problems that you can use to study for your test. Oh yeah, everybody now. So if you guys visit this website and just go to the bottom, here it says view demo. So if we click on that, it's going to show you how the FE exam screen is going to look like and it also shows you the FE exam format. So I definitely recommend that you guys go over this and just get yourself familiar with it. It's really going to help you mentally prepare for the FE exam. So here I'm just going to help click next and just follow some of the directions. So let me talk a little bit about the FE exam screen. So here you're gonna have your questions and on this side, you're gonna have the FE reference manual. Now the search box for the reference manual is a little bit different than what you are probably used to, the control F. Now I already talked about this in one of my videos. If you haven't watched that video yet, I will leave the link above there in case you guys wanna check it out. So this is simple stuff. I'm just gonna move along here and get to the FE exam format because that's what I wanna go over here. So here it gives you the FE exam format, but honestly, I didn't see all of these in the exam. I think the most common ones we have is multiple choice, point and click, drag and drop, and then fill in the blank. So let's go next and then we're going to go over it together. So here we have multiple choice, which is pretty simple. You just click on the right answer and then just click next. Here, be careful. Sometimes you might have to choose two answers. So read the question carefully. So I'm just going to select two answers and then hit next. This one, fill in the blank. So this is the one where my student had a lot of questions in. This can be tricky because you don't have a multiple choice and it's hard to guess. So you're just gonna have to try to do your best and try to solve the problem. So let's just put the answer here and then just hit next. This one is not really common, but just get yourself familiar with it. And we're just going to fill it in here just so we can move on. Here, this one is actually common. So sometimes you might give in a graph or let's say a beam and you have to click where you have the maximum stress or something like that. So just be careful. Now here, we're just gonna click the state. And then for this one, lastly, we have drag and drop. This one is also common. I did have a question like this in transportation. I was giving 20 answers and, and I had to only drag five answers. Now, one more thing I wanna talk about is flagging the question. So here at the top, you have flag for review. So you can click this one. Now I flagged this question. So if I wanna see this question later, I don't really need to hit previous. So in the exam, you will have questions and then here and then you can click it and that will drop and then it will show all the questions that you have and it will show you the questions that you flagged and you can just click on it and it will take you directly to the question. So you don't have to hit previous and that will take you time to get to the question that you flagged. So just remember that. And once you solve the problem, make sure you unflag it so that way you remember that you already answered it and you don't have to go over it again. Now, another thing you will have in your FE exam screen is the timer. So here you will have the timer. Now be careful, the timer does not start at zero. It actually starts at five hours and 20 minutes and goes down. So just be aware of that. If you guys want some practice problems or some cheat sheets, you can visit my website, enter your email address, and I will send them to you along with some tips on how to tackle this exam. If you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Thank you guys for watching. Good luck with your studying, and I will see you soon. À la prochaine. Oh yeah, everybody